Lil J and in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am starting my weight loss journey over. So as of today, as of this morning, I got on the scale and I looked at the scale and the scale said 401. I've honestly never expected to see this number again. I always told myself I would never get to this point again. I always told myself it would never happen to me again. I would never do this to myself again. But if I'm being honest, in the past year, I've gone through feelings, I've gone through things that I've never imagined going through before. And for someone like me who overeats and is an emotional eater and really relies on comfort food, going through what I've gone through in the past year just set me all the way off track. And every time I would try to come back from it, I would get back into that headspace again. And so for me, it's a little hot. I hope it's not loud. Um, what was making the most sense at the time was literally just to honestly isolate and then also to just step away because I'm like, why is that's thunder? Oh, that's thunder. Mm -mm, that's a thunderstorm. <laughs> not the storm clouds heading my way. <laughs> Okay, um, well, let's wrap this up, pack this up. So, what made the most sense to me was literally to just step away from social media and to kind of gather myself. And I thought like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna step away, I'm gonna try to lose weight by myself, I'm gonna try to just deal with these feelings on my own and really just stop talking about my weight loss journey, stop sharing it, because I felt so stagnant, not only in my personal life but just in my weight loss journey in general as well like every single time I thought I was coming back like my little February challenge that I was posting about I was coming back to me I was getting back to me at the beginning of March I was posting about being low carb and doing this and doing that and I was still dealing with these same things that was setting me behind and Maybe one day I'll be able to talk about it. I pray to God that I'm here to talk about, you know, the things that I've been through in the past year. But I just know now that being over 400 pounds is not the move. I'm not okay with this. I'm so, I'm so hurt. Like, I'm not sharing this so that y'all can feel bad for me because I'm gonna tell y'all this now. What I did to myself in the past year is on me, but I know for a fact that this is me trying to like take my life back. <laughs> Keep it G, bro. Thank. <laughs> this is me trying to take my life back. This is me trying to get back to. Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is me trying to take my life back. This is me trying to get back to the woman that I know God called me to be, created me to be, put purpose inside of. Like, a person that I fought so hard to be, and like, I stopped fighting to be her, and then I lost myself, bro. Man, I lost myself so much, like, I honestly stopped doing what I was supposed to do. And I did a podcast interview recently, which will be coming out Sunday, June 19th, if I'm not mistaken, that's what he said. Yeah, Sunday, June 19th. And I was watching the video, and for one, I was looking at how big I was then, and I wasn't even 400 pounds at that time. I was like 380, and I didn't, you know, <sighs> I thought I was gonna be able to come back from that, bro. I really did. Like, I really thought, like, okay, you 380, you can lose this weight real fast. But what was you doing to, you know, put them systems and them, them moves? And I was, I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't working out. I wasn't. Honestly, wasn't even praying. When my relationship with God is out of whack, when my relationship with God is off track, my whole life is a mess. And when I tell y'all, it's nothing in this world that's ever going to matter to me more than following God, following Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, yeah, following Him and getting that well done and making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So with that being said, all of that crying and emotional stuff out the window, I'm at the gym. I also have not, if you, if you guys have been watching me on my channel, I used to fast a lot and fasting is honestly what helped me build up so much discipline with myself. Like I used to just fast all the time and I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning it was definitely a crutch because when you see how much weight you lose from fasting, it's like, ooh. 
but it also helps me to just build a certain discipline up because spiritually I was excelling okay because I was really depending on God I was really praying to God I was really trusting in God at that time and I was really just heavily in the word heavily just making sure I'm following God and just you know doing the right thing honestly doing the right thing choosing to do the right thing at that and I done fell off of that so this is me trying to get back to it so today I am gonna fast I have not fasted in so long every single time that I try fast it just it be hard pushing that plate away is hard but it's possible it's possible and if it's one thing that y'all can get from this channel if it's one thing that y'all can get from me it's that i'm not the hardest worker in the room i'm not i'm not even gonna act like i am and i'm not always the most consistent however god is a good guy and he makes all things new so even though i'm not the hardest worker all the time i'm going to push myself to work hard i'm gonna push myself to get out of my comfort zone and honestly just stop being lazy like i fell into being lazy again i fell into a depression again i fell into just so many of the habits that i honestly thought were gone which i may have overcame them but they came back so now we're gonna work together because it's me with you you with me we're gonna work together to get to where we need to be so with that being said let's go to the gym <sighs> I don't even know if I want to bring my camera in there, especially because it's raining right now. I don't know where I put my uh, my bag. I got my jacket. Like when I tell y'all, I should have been on. It was time to get it together because my clothes was not fitting. Like my hoodies is on my back. Like child, even my neck. Like I just should have known. It should have never took. For me to be 400 pounds on the scale this morning. For me to realize, like, get yourself together. Pull it together. Oh my gosh, the way it's raining. It's giving through a light workout. It's 3 o'clock. Yeah, let me. Let me hurry up and get in this gym. Hold on. Y'all. Y'all can't even see this. Look at that. Oh no. Okay, so I'm in the gym now. Um, my camera is so heavy. I don't vlog with this camera, and I definitely don't vlog with this lens. <laughs> this is my professional camera, y'all. This is a uh, camera that I use to do photography. But I wanted to show y'all what I'm looking like today. <clears throat> I'm so not used to what I look like now. Like, I'm so not used to it. Every time I see myself, I just... I don't think positive thoughts. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't thought positive thoughts about my body in a very long time. But we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna get into that. I just wanna say, my goal moving forward this time with sharing my weight loss journey is to, for one, actually show y'all what I'm eating, when I'm eating, all of that. Like, I was doing that before, but I really wasn't being consistent with it because I was trying to hide. Okay, if I was messing up, I was trying to hide, but we're done with that. We're just gonna give it to you how it is because I'm tired of this. For two, I wanna have fun. Like, I feel like I used to just take losing weight so serious. Like, I used to just make it so serious and it's a serious thing especially like for me like I was over 400 pounds like I was I was past 410 pounds so it was a big deal to take it serious but I feel like the reason why I was failing to begin with was because I just was so hard on myself and I just wasn't having fun with it I wasn't really trying to learn I was just trying to get it done and I don't want to do that this time this time I want to have fun again I was really enjoying the gym last year and I was really enjoying like going every single day doing different workouts and stuff like that so i want to do that that's what i want to do we're not about to make this channel a crybaby channel it's already a crybaby. I, I guess it's too late for that but i just i want to flip it i want to flip it and i want to have fun and i want to rejoice that god has given me another day another opportunity another chance to get this correct Every day that I'm here, every day that you're here, is another chance for us to do the right thing. Yeah. Oh, why is this so zoomed in? Hmm. I don't know why I didn't check that. Anyways. So yeah, again, this is what I'm looking like today. I want my belly to do that, but it's doing that. But it's okay, it's fine. Only thing we could do is work on it. Um. Also, another thing is that I should have really been noticing is that I was getting mad pain in my body. Like, it was getting bad. Like, my right hip was hurting for a while. I kinda didn't think none of it. I'm not gonna lie. But then my 
left knee started hurting. I was like, mm, that's not really giving normal. So with that being said, that's a whole nother reason to want to lose weight because knee pain was something I was dealing with before when I was over 400 pounds. And it for sure stopped. It stopped swiftly, actually. Like when I got to probably like 370, neither here nor there. However, we in the gym. I'm in the little, the little cycle room or whatever. Um, I always come in here to kind of take progress pictures first. And I, I be stretching sometimes. I, I do need to start stretching more, especially because I told y'all about the knee pain. Ooh, I don't like how that looks. Child. Oh, this looks, I, okay, be nice to yourself. I'm trying to be positive, y'all. I really am. Check back in. That's music going stupid. Like it make me mad. Okay, y'all. So I did take the incline up to a five. I'm doing 2.5 speed right now. Honestly, just gonna be like increasing my cardio for real. Cause for a while I was avoiding cardio. I really was. So I'm not gonna avoid it anymore. Okay. So I got off the treadmill. I only did 10 minutes. I didn't stretch. So my knee started to feel a little weird. So I got off. But anyway. I'm in the group fitness room right now. I usually call this the back room because it'll be in the back. I'm about to grab some weights and do some arms today. I'm honestly probably going, this is a bad angle. I'm honestly probably going to do three arm workouts and then I'm going to go because I have to go get my nephew. So, plus another thing is since I'm fasting today, I don't want to overdo it because I'm really trying to make it through this fast so that I don't eat today or anything. It's crazy I'm even holding this camera right now because my arms are shaking so badly. Also, I wanted to mention, so I did say that it's been a minute since I've been into the gym, but like as soon as the pool opened, which the pool was only open for like, I think it's been two weeks now. The pool ain't been open for that long. It's literally been open since Memorial Day. I was going swimming and I did record. Um, I'm gonna see if I can insert a clip right here so y'all can see. But I was going swimming like every day. I think I went four days in a row. I was like doing like six laps. I did six laps, eight laps, 10 laps, six laps. So I think I only went four days. But the weather been real bad. Like I seen it was raining earlier and then it's been real cold. Like it's been windy. It's giving real rain for spots. I'm not liking that. It's June. It's literally June 13th now. It's me procrastinating because I wanna do my next set. Thank you. I'm a photographer. Oh, I am too. What are you shoot with? Um, I shoot with a Canon. A Canon? Yeah. Which one? T7. Rebel. T7? I had a um, T6 out when I first started. <laughs> yeah. I just started like a year or two ago. But That's cool. I'm going to, um... Okay, y'all, so I'm at the gym. I did a quick little 40-minute workout. I was also in the sauna. I don't know if I included the clip or not because I ended up talking to a girl in there who she saw me with my camera. She was like, oh, that's a nice camera. And I was like, oh, thank you. She said, I'm a photographer. And I'm like, oh, I am too. Those conversations, they get me. They get me going. They get me running my mouth. But I will say, after going to the gym, I feel amazing. Like, I feel really good. I was feeling real bad before. I got in here but now I feel good I feel on top of the world I feel like I can accomplish anything I want it's four o'clock now I'm not hungry usually I can go a long time without eating it really just depends on the day it depends on my mood so this is a good day this is a real good day this means I'm gonna be able to make it through this fast or whatever okay y'all so that is all for this video I'm honestly not going to be doing anything else the rest of the day on this vlog because I'm not gonna be eating and I don't I don't have anything else to do. I really just have to um, go home and like edit for a client and then 
clean up my room. So I'm not gonna be adding that into the video. But I'm excited to be sharing my weight loss journey again. I'm excited to be back to sharing, period, and just being on social media. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do the rest of this week. I don't know if I'm gonna make this next video like a week long vlog. I probably will. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys like day in my life videos or if y'all like weekly vlogs. I like weekly vlogs. I like sitting there for a TV show. So I can do it. It's just that editing process, child. I talk so much in one day. I couldn't imagine putting seven days together and me talking. That's a mess. But yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys did and if you guys are excited to start my weight loss journey over with me. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the post notification bell so you know when I'm posting again. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Is it another platform? I don't do Twitter. So never mind. Just follow me on Instagram or TikTok so you guys can stay up to date with what I'm doing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart